Thank you for joining me for today's daily prayer. Let's begin by continuing with Psalm 95, verses 6 and 7. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Landis brings us today's hymn. My life is in you. My life is in you, Lord. My strength is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord. It's in My life is in you, Lord. My strength is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord. It's in you, it's in you. I will praise you with all of my life. I will praise you with all of my strength. continue with Psalm 93, 1 and 2. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established and it cannot be moved. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. Let us pray. O Lord God, we ascribe all praise and glory to you, to whom alone it is due. We praise your holy name for so graciously raising us up in soundness of mind and body to see the light of this day. We continue with a reading from Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 12 through 14. Therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. May God add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word today. 
Let us lift up our hearts in thankful praise to the Holy Spirit, saying, Glory to you, O blessed Spirit. You came down in fiery tongues on the apostles and enabled them to preach the good news of salvation to a sinful word. Glory to you, O blessed Spirit. Descend on us that we may be in the Spirit this day and always. Glory to you, O blessed Spirit. Blessed be your goodness that we have felt you so often in our hearts, inspiring us with holy thoughts and filling us with love, joy, and comforting expectations of the glory that shall be revealed. Glory to you, O blessed Spirit. And now, Lord, we offer up the prayers of our hearts for this morning. We thank you that Landis is healing and ask that you continue to strengthen him. And together we pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. O oh Lord, make it our delight through this, throughout this day to praise you, to recall your loving kindness, and to offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.